Hi, this is kind of a quick crash course on uh, using the uh, studio's uh, animation settings. Uh, using like the build mode and revolve. Made a quick little guy here, a little test piece. Nothing too flashy. If we go to the render settings, I was already messing around with it before. But I have the the frame rate set to 24 just so it's smooth and uh, make sure I'm in the animation tab. Um, I usually make these like quick, so about two seconds. Uh, the build sequence is where like the bricks actually fall into place, or like like you're building it step by step. I have it set the brick falling down effect. Then I have it kind of the middle ground between uh, how fast the sequence is and whenever it completes. Um, revolve will shut off right now because I'm going to do that later. Uh, dude, let's finish this up. Uh, I have it set up medium settings. Uh, light, that's just uh, where the where your light shines from. Uh, I'm using a GPU. It just depends on what your specs are using your computer. I know my uh, CPU is better than my GPU. So that's what I mean. My camera rotation, I don't know. It just depends what you are. You can also pan this. Center it. Uh, yeah, I got stud logo on. UV de degradation off, scratches off. Um, I, I got it set to a custom image size because uh, it's usually better like to work smaller just to make sure you know because renders usually take a while at least on my computer. I usually want to start it out small to you know it's kind of like a rough draft. Um, I recommend outporting to a uh, video format that way you can scrub through it better than like if you're using uh, an animated GIF or just uh, uh, static pictures. Depends on you. Um, I tried messing around with the queue a little bit earlier, but it, I, I kind of like to see the progress whenever the eye renderer comes up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and render a uh, building one, these settings, and then I'll come back. Okay, that's done. So I just have the LC player open. I have it. Uh, so we're gonna play it, and as you can see, it goes really fast, but it kind of falls into place, like as like a building or like what you're using steps. Uh, next, we'll move on to um, to the re to the revolve feature. Back in studio, we're gonna go back to our uh, render thing, render dialog box, and we're gonna shut off building. We're gonna go to turn on revolve. A lot of these are using the same settings that we used previously. I have the speed, it uh, just affects the turning. You can set the direction. Uh, I'm using uh, medium render quality again. And light. I'm going to change this back so it's even again. And uh, yeah, it's going to rotate around. The blue line is where it revolves around. I don't know if you can move that. Uh, I don't see a setting. There might be a way. It might depend on like what last brick or. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if we center right there, do it, and uh, I'm gonna hit render, and uh, we'll uh, come back. We're back in VLC player to check out our uh, revolve. I have it set, and then. All right, it doesn't look too bad. Like I didn't get it quite center. Looks like he's got some wobble based on his head. Um, I'm gonna try an experiment uh, to see if we can do stop motion. All right, we're back in the studio, and I'm gonna try to attempt. I can't emphasize enough. I'm gonna try to attempt to uh, do stop motion. Medium. Light. I think I'm just going to do pictures. Uh, <clears throat> okay. At the queue, start it. Just 
to uh, the Oh, dang, every time I get this. Thank you. Sure. I can't use that text. But uh, I'm going to take forever. I'm sure, you, there's some way you can set a default setting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. If I've sure. one more time, I'll do a little. I hate that they disappear. I think we'll call that good with the arm move. Don't mess with oh. And Two ninety five eighty five. I just like the tools. Oh, is that actually I don't know, we'll see how it works. They're not terrible. Might be adding stuff, might be more. Yeah. It is. Yeah, the rotating him. Like it is. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh well. I'll jump yet. Oh man, turn me off. Oh yeah. I do, I'm so. But if I wanted to, I get the pain and all that stuff down. Yeah. 
and going. Looks like, yeah. What's not? Looks like I was going up again. Rip. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and render this out and see how terrible it looks. I'll be back in a sec. All right, we're back in VLC player and let's see how my stop motion turned out. I have the blah blah blah. All right, you can definitely see the camera jump around. You know, it didn't really turn out too bad considering the you know what the was done. Um, this, let's see, I think I rendered out like 16 images and I threw like four away, so it was like 12 images. Obviously, if I wanted it smoother, I'd add more images, and I think, uh, in my video editor, I, I uh, set the images to hold for, I think, half a second. So, yeah, I guess, uh, guess, uh, I guess that it worked. Kinda, sorta. Definitely think I should have planned that more or thought about it sooner. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea just to do a whole bunch of animations like in the same state file. Uh, depending on your large file, you might want to save each frame of your animation to save, but that can be like a lot of files though. But I mean, also if you have to go back to re-render, you can see what I did. You know, screwing around with the camera. So it might be best to do it like that. Um, hope you find this this uh, video useful and uh, yeah, later.